Hello everybody. I am not gonna lie. It has been weeks upon weeks. I am actually heading into my fourth week at uni. So, um, sorry about that. I have been crumbling inside since uni has started. Guys, I have not been coping. I have not been doing well. <laughs> I have had about 500 menti bees. I am full struggling. Uh, so that's not been really too great for me. We have just hit the ground absolutely sprinting like sprinting and I am struggling to keep up I honestly it's really not so much the content it's the fact that I have no time I've got no time at all to even breathe to do anything I am in clinic, so basically, sorry about all the lighting and stuff. It's just like, when when do I have the chance to, to, to talk to you, you know? But anyways, our clinic, basically we, the oral health uh, degree has been on the North Shore, at the AUT campus on the North Shore, which is perfect for me, who lives on the North Shore. But now the campus, uh, the clinic, sorry, where we see patients has moved out south to the south campus in Manukau. And that is so far away. It's just been hours in traffic on top of everything. And that's draining within itself. We also have new clinical educators. None of our clinical educators from the shore are here at the South Campus anymore because none of them want to drive. We've got a new environment. We've got new teachers helping us and that's been a whole shambles within itself. Just within the fact like We've been taught things for the past two years and these clinical educators have a different way of teaching and saying like the things that we've done are not correct and this is what we're doing now. Yeah, it's just been a lot, especially like even going from the North Campus to the South Campus on the first day, it honestly felt like I was in high school again as a year nine at a new school. Like, I didn't know where things were. I didn't know, like, where to sit at lunch. I didn't know where to put away my lunch. Just everything, like, that was, that was a lot. And then I think it's just the fact that we've got no time. So basically Mondays are our full lecture days. And then we have uh, at least one or two days at the North Campus still in simulation. So that's working on mannequin heads, like doing fillings on the mannequin heads. That has been eight to four pretty much on those days so full days of of drilling has been quite a lot what else like yeah that's that's been hard that's been really difficult with sim lab because yeah we're doing a lot harder fillings it's been yeah just it's been super super overwhelming and I've just not really been coping at all. I've also had like my ovulation in that time. I've also had my period in that time. And it's just so heightened and extreme. And I've also got a, another paper. It's actually the treat, like a Treaty of Waitangi paper 
that I've actually got credits for. I didn't even need to pick it up. I've already ticked it off my little list, but the total, I don't even know if this is gonna make any sense to anybody, but basically I was only supposed to do three papers this year. That was Oral Health 2, Oral Health 3, and Health Law. The other ones I've already done. And the Treaty of Waitangi paper is an elective paper that I already got credits for and therefore didn't need to pick it up this year because I already had credits for it. But with StudyLink, I was seen as a part-time student and therefore was unable to get the student allowance. So I looked at my timetable and I realized I had pretty much when I looked at the next two months, I had a total of like three days off. Just just three whole days off where I'm able to work. Was I was stressing. I was like, well, there's no way I can really make money because that's what I thought. Oh, less, is, less on my plate, m more, um, I'm able to work more, you know, no biggie. Not at all, not at all, not in the slightest. So then I have picked up the Treaty of Waitangi paper to get the student allowance. So I technically, I don't need to pass it. I've got no pressure to pass it. But I felt like, it's the time, I'm doing good for time. I'm meeting Sharia for a coffee. So that'll be nice. So that's where I'm driving didn't say anything about that but I've also been getting eczema on my wrist so my little sleeve is up because I've just put some cream on it I used to get eczema when I was like a kid but it's um come back so not sure about that I think maybe it might my watch strap but I've had this watch strap on for like a whole year before I, I don't not sure. Anywho, where was I going? I have been stressed because, oh, again, I've got three assignments of this Treaty of Waitangi paper. I don't even need to pass it, but I have this thing where I have to try my best. I have to try my best, and that was completely stressing me out because I've got no time. I've got no time and then when something takes me hours because I've, I've got dyslexia and I've got ADHD and I've got these learning disabilities and it takes me a long time and I've got no time to be doing these. I've got no time to be sitting down and, and, and doing it. If I had time, that's fine, absolutely, but I've got none. I've got no time. And I also need to be focusing on my oral health papers because that's what really counts. But I just have this thing where I have to try my best for the Treaty of Waitangi paper and give it my best shot. Do you see my dilemma? Like, I'm just, I was just struggling, really just struggling. And also, the others have another paper more than me. What is this person doing? God. Anywho, I'm in a mood. The other the other students in my class have another paper. They've got an ethics paper. I've already done that. Thank Jesus for that. But that's hectic. I'm struggling. I don't even need to pass Treaty of Waitangi. And the other two They've, they've got two papers. They have to pass those. Plus oral health. I am I am crumbling inside. How, how is anyone else doing it? I feel like what is wrong with me at the moment? I've never felt like this. Through my whole degree. It is just like everyone warned me about my second year. Everyone was like, oh, that is just... Anything after the second year you can do. So I'm like, no worries. This is, this third year is just killing me inside. 
but anyways i called the treaty of waitangi paper lecturer because he's he, he's like a 24 7 pretty much lecturer um he's got like his number out and because we got no lectures there's no lectures it's just like you read some books and you write essays so i called him and i was like i was umming and ahhing about whether i should even just not hand in these assignments like do i just give up overall and not not hand anything in or do i be like should i be honest and say listen here paul i am struggling i am stressed to the absolute max and my other my friends were like oh sav like because i'm such an honest person they were like maybe not maybe not be too honest you know maybe dial it back a little bit and i was just like i needed to just be honest with this guy and i was like listen here paul i am struggling i'm not doing well i don't know what to do i need some help i sit there for hours just trying to understand the content that i'm going to be writing about and i've got no time for this i've got no time like that's my situation bless him he appreciated my honesty and that's what i think guys i think honesty is the best policy because my my point is not to offend him because i know this is his job and he lives and breathes this and we even had to reference his articles and he's wrote books on the treaty so it's like super important to him but i called him and he was so good about everything and he made me feel so much better and I have got help from him and that has helped me a lot so now I'm actually on my third essay and I've got such good grades I've my my overall grade for the paper is an A at the moment and he just said to me listen Sav like let's just get you to pass the paper and I think he appreciated that I think he appreciated my honesty and instead of just not handing an assignment in and giving up I was honest and I told him and and he's been grading me so well and I just feel so much better about that so I still have one more to go I also have my holiday coming up in mid-semester break. I have a holiday. For three weeks, I am in South Africa on my mid-semester break. That is stressing me out. Like, oh, I hate that because I am so looking forward to this holiday. And I just want to be excited about the holiday. But it is just stressing me out that I am got so much to do before that time because I'm not I really want to be present in my holiday and really want to just be there with everybody and and just enjoy that but it is really stressing me out that I have a holiday and I'm not going to be able to do much do you know what I mean so that's that's just a lot for me but anyway okay no she told me she's five minutes away that's perfect um what was I saying so yeah I've also got this holiday on my mind and I can't do anything so I really have that stress of wanting to get things done before I go away so I can just be in the moments and be present and not have to worry about that so I still have one more assignment to go for the treaty and then I last night I was looking at the uh, another assessment for oral health so I really want to start doing that but it's just been a lot guys it's been a lot I've been in a lot of tears and a lot of stress and it just feels like nobody understands what I'm going through and I had a big moment at, in clinic after I saw a patient my clinical educator just made me feel so 
embarrassed and dumb in front of my patient and that just made it just was a massive setback for me like being at uni and being a student is just so difficult for somebody like me who just is is just not academic i am just the opposite of a uni student <laughs> The guy had like a little lazy eye. He was like looking at me, but he was also looking straight. I wasn't sure about that. Um, and I have a lot of, you know, like some people have really big insecurities of like body image and like, I don't know, a whole bunch of shit. My insecurity is being dumb. Like no matter who you are, no matter how much you tell me, I believe I am dumb. I am dumb, and that is just my little soft spot. It's because of, obviously, my learning disability. It's, it's because of my whole school experience. It's everything combined that just makes this, these are my thoughts of myself. And it is so, like, the way I felt and the way this person made me feel at the time was just triggering, like, every little thing in my brain, just confirming everything that I think about myself. And it was just not good like it's just not good for me and it's not good for my mental health and it's just not very nice so I was super upset at clinic this last week and I spoke to the the clinical educator about it because I was obviously crying and I don't think I don't think she really cared to be honest um but it also just made me realize, like, almost like I, I was telling her sort of my, about, about me and, and why that's, like, sort of affects me. And, you know, maybe, maybe she could say something a bit nicer, you know, get, delivering feedback in, like, a, in a way more positive note and just you know, like that, but it almost is weird because I feel awkward and embarrassed telling somebody that they have upset me and what, how you've come at me is not okay. And it's just so weird because like this person has upset me, but I feel scared to upset them. By telling them how they've made me feel. And it's just interesting. <laughs> like, you know, and I just get a little bit disappointed with myself about that because I am just, yeah, like I'm good at speaking up and I'm good at saying things. And, you know, like I tell her, like, you know, you have no idea how all of this has made me feel inside. Like, I can't even describe to you how it, how it feels in my head right now. But being like, you need, you like, you, like, saying to her, Shreya's here, I can see her, um, it's just interesting, and I just get disappointed with myself about it, because why should I feel scared to, to speak up and tell somebody that it's them, when they've made me feel this way, like, it's just... I really don't want to be like that and I get really disappointed in myself about things like that of just like I don't know not being like completely honest ah uh, I don't know anyways I'm gonna see Shay now and I'll talk to you guys later <laughs> hello everybody I am back in the car now and yeah I know I shouldn't be vlogging and driving but you know like 
I don't have to look at you. I don't have to look at you. But it was real nice. I had a nice little catch up with Shreya. She is pregnant. She is 13 weeks currently and she's just a trooper. She's doing such a good job and she's just looking so good and she's just handling herself so well because it's so hard she's been all sick feeling sick and it's her second trimester now and she thought that she would be feeling a little bit better but she's still not so i think she's doing amazing um but it was real nice to just catch up with her and we went for a little walk along the beach and then we sat down at the cafe where we bought our coffees and yeah because we talk a lot of shit we do we talk a lot of shit together but yeah i'm going home honestly where do i begin with my list to do where do i begin i need to do washing i honestly am so overwhelmed i'm so overwhelmed at the moment We are alright, I think. I don't know. I actually don't know. But, yeah. Do you know, I just feel like I have to write this whole year off, pretty much, as just a student having a shit year. No, it's not going to be a shit year, because I'm going to I'm gonna pass. I am going to pass, and everything's going to be fine, and it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Just... I think I just have to write the year off with just not being able to do much and just dedicating my whole life existence to uni this year, which is actually not even that long. Like it, I finish in October and how many freaking breaks do we have? You know, it's really not that bad, but I definitely am like, I go through so much motions of just up and down up and down like stress to the absolute max and then I'm like oh no things are fine things are gonna be fine and then I'm just like on the ground crumbling again and then I'm just you know like it's just so up and down and I feel really um a bit tense today I feel really tense inside but it's all right I'm, I'm okay uh, Reese, he went to um, his friends, well they had drinks on our friends um, last night, so I just, I just didn't, I just didn't go, just, you know, I can, I barely have time to breathe, like I barely had time to just see Shay, you know, um, so it's just a lot and I really just I, I'm just I just don't have anything inside energy wise at the moment and it was kind of good like it was nice just being able to make like I was no, not joking on my laptop doing uni stuff until 8 o'clock at night yeah eight o'clock every night has been eight o'clock at night it's just been a lot but it was it was good I, yeah as you guys can probably tell I'm just not not coping too good I just don't understand like how are other people coping in my in my in my group like who how how are people coping with another two more assignments or another two more papers I mean you know so I'm not coping at all but yeah perfect we're gonna drive 20 now thank you um but yeah I miss you guys and honestly like I just wanted to just catch you guys up on how I've been doing and and like everything that happens you know what I mean like I just I don't even know how when I can edit this but yeah yeah not sure not sure not sure when this can even go up so I just don't have the time but I really just wanted to document how I am in my life at this moment you know for a bit of 
backstory. Um, I really need to go wee. Should have gone. But yeah, I just need to. I need to um, tidy my room. I need to do washing. You know, get everything sorted for the week. So it is what it is. But I'll see you guys at home. I think. Guys, I am home. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bedding off. It is freezing, by the way. Honestly, I swear it's just hit March. Summer's over and it's like I'm freezing. So I actually think I'm going to take the fan out my room. I'm going to change my bedding. I'm going to put on some winter sheets. Change it. I've got my green duvet on now. I'm going to switch it for my white duvet. Needs to just, like, I don't know about you, but I will not be able to sit down and do my work if there's things around that I, like, have to do. I also need to actually look at stuff for my uh, simulation days this week because I've got two of those and I need to like watch some demo videos before we go and I also have like a whole thing that I want to cut and paste into a book that I've been writing to help me with all my notes and stuff so I actually really want to do that at some point today I have to get that done and I also need to look at this assignment I really just want to start chipping away at it I started it last night but I just need to Chip away at it and it's already 12 o'clock and this is how easy I get stressed out. Honestly, it's just pathetic. But I don't know what I would do without my ADHD meds. I truly don't know how I would possibly get through life without it. It's just insane how much it really does help me. So, which I haven't even taken today. Maybe I should take that. And then, and then get started. Helps my brain, I think. It just, just helps this inside of my, my head. Hello, guys. I have not done too well with vlogging. I actually think I felt really anxious today. And I never get, like, anxiety. But I felt anxious. And then I think like not doing what I wanted to get done today just like really overwhelmed me and <laughs> hello missy oh she throws her head back because she wants a little cuddle hey oh my gosh I just have the cutest cat ever she's so cute She's actually just adorable, but she is. She's a sass queen. She is an absolute sass queen. Aren't you? She is like... She's got an attitude like her mother. Don't you? You've got a full attitude like your mother. I know. Like mother, like daughter. For sure. They say it's worse... With your offspring. <laughs> Reese came over today. So that was really nice. He just hung out with me. We actually watched an episode of Maths. Oh my god, we love Maths. And we've also been watching Love is Blind. I'm just the worst person to get into a series with. Because I am really bad at with commitment. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but, like, I will have, be like, yep, yeah, definitely, let's start a series, and then, you know, like, a couple episodes in, it's, like, going good, and I like it, I just, I think it's the attention span, I'm just like, ah, oh, that's enough, like, whereas reality TV, it's just, like, more easier for me, I don't need to just, like, focus as much I don't know I'm not sure <laughs> hello hello 
She's actually been sleeping here all afternoon. Reese loves this cat. It's the cutest thing ever. He loves her. She's got so many nicknames. It's so funny. We call her Noons, Noonie, Snooze, Susan, Suze, Miss, Missy. No. So yeah, he came around and it was actually really nice. He just, you know, what time did he come around? Maybe like two. And then left before dinner because he had all of his lunches to make and stuff. So that was really nice. And then he left and I was doing some study. I am super tired. I'm no joke. About to go to bed. And it is 20 past 8. I just feel knackered. I feel knackered. But I've got my gym stuff sort of for tomorrow. I've put new bedding on my bed. I've put on some winter sheets. I've done loads of washing today. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just been, yeah, doing all that. But what else? There's like so much I could honestly chat to you about. There's so much that just goes on. Like I have so many thoughts all the time that I just, and then sometimes they just don't come out of my brain properly. But, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. I've got just a lecture day tomorrow. Let, um, right, sorry, Mondays are all lecture days that I can actually watch at home. So, because basically we have um, students who study in Northland and they also need to watch the lectures. So it's live, it's live, I think they're recorded too actually, but they're live. So I'm just going to watch them from home. I'm going to go to the gym early. I still get up early, still go to the gym so I can get a full like study day done. I actually have a dentist appointment tomorrow. It's so funny because since being in dentistry, like, it's, like, you would just normally just go to a dentist and then, like, uh, as you know, you just see any dentist and do work on, like, your teeth and whatever. But since being in dentistry... And like working in it and seeing, especially temping, going around to see all the different practices, de seeing all the different like dentists and their materials they use, and like that some dentists really go in depth of like a a good filling, um, and others just sort of like do the basics. So it's funny how now I'm way more particular like I'm way particular on like who touches my teeth I think it's like it's it's actually important <laughs> like it's actually important it's weird it's crazy because I never thought about it before but now working in it I'm like oh I'm you know I want someone who's gonna do a good job on my teeth so I am getting a filling done. Yes. Okay. Don't judge me. I'm getting a filling done. On that tooth over there. There. It has been there for a little while. I'm not going to lie about that. I've known about it. Um, and I am pumped to get it sorted tomorrow. I'm pumped to get it sorted tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to be all numb along my jaw and my tongue and everything. That reminds me I have to study something else. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed. I'm actually sure will try and vlog this week wherever I can. Don't know if I can, but 
you're probably no it's just probably me being really overwhelmed and stressed and upset like this whole video just like this whole video but yeah anyways good night guys i have not filmed today sorry we have good intentions um i swear i've got good intentions and then it just doesn't it just does not happen but today i swear i don't know what's going on with me i don't know something's in my eye i am just i don't know going through i don't know but i did go to the dentist today which was so good i went to a dentist um who's up on the coast so i drove myself up to the coast and i saw uh, my uh, my dentist called john there he's so good Honestly, if you guys are looking for a dentist and you are in Auckland, I would definitely recommend Hibiscus Coast Dental. Oh, he's so good. He's just so good. And honestly, from going around and working with a bunch of dentists, I just trust him with my teeth. So, he's just like the most loveliest person and just good at what he does and it was just so good so yeah it was my first time getting a whole block it's called um a dental block and then basically your whole jaw my tongue basically like half of my tongue was numb my whole chin even up to like my ear I had my appointment at 11 o'clock today and that numbing did not go away until 3.30. Like, oh, the, like from the ear was going, but the chin and the lips and the tongue was just numb for so freaking long. And I was so hungry and yeah, I... Oh, that lighting. Look at that. I completely ate my lip. Like, I ate my lip. I was trying to eat. And obviously, I know this is, like, you shouldn't be eating on, at, like, local. I know that. I, I know that. And I just, it's totally all my fault because I know better I know better I have to literally tell patients to be careful about this happening and I did that I did that I even got my tongue up here and I've like bitten it like bitten my tongue it's sore my tongue is sore my lip is so fat like that's just not normal so i'm in pain i'm in pain thankfully i couldn't feel it because <laughs> that would have been so freaking sore that would have been so freaking sore but yeah and then i came home and i went straight into a, a lecture i've had so many lectures today and I just, I don't know what my brain was thinking, but I was like, because I take my um, ADHD meds at like 8, 8.30 in the morning or 8 o'clock or whatever, and then 11.30. And now I can't really take it too late. Like 1.30 would be like too late for me because then I wouldn't sleep. That's just, uh, maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't, I don't know. Um, but I don't like to risk that. So I just for some reason did not take my lunchtime dose. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was not needed. 
I, I'm not sure what I was thinking in that situation, but I just felt I have so much to do, like I just had so much to do and I just, just didn't, just didn't really do it, like, I mean I did a lot, like, don't get me wrong, I tried my best, but even watching the lectures, like, I'm not listening, I am fully not there, I'm not there, I'm not listening, I am just distracted and nothing is going in, not one thing, and I'm, I could try my hardest and it just does not, does not stick, so I just kind of feel like what a waste because yes I watched those lectures but I didn't actually watch them do you know what I mean so now I have to go back and like watch them because they are important and I will there's an exam coming up in June and it's based on all of the lectures we have watched <laughs> well we've got given so that is not ideal for me so I will have to go back and watch those at some point which is really frustrating and I would really, I do need to start the, like that oral health assignment and all of my lectures, like they intertwine in my assignments. So that's just a little bit frustrating. This morning, however, I had, a, I had that meeting with my treaty teacher and he basically said I have passed the paper already because I'm averaging an A. I'm just now like, oh, should I just, you know, give it my best shot? So that's what I was kind of working on today because I really just want to get that one over and done with. And I have basically done like the whole structure. I just probably need to proofread it and add some references in and then I'm just going to send it on because, yeah, I don't know. Because if I, if I could get just like a, like a B, like a B in that, that one that assignment then maybe like you know I'll be happy with like my grade my overall grade it doesn't really matter to be honest um but yeah that's what I've been doing today so I felt really tired and I think what doesn't help is like my meds they just like make me do like 110% all the time and then, like, after, like, a, like, days and days and days of that, it's just not sustainable. So, I am just so tired. Like, I am just so exhausted. It's 8 o'clock and I just, I, like, brush my teeth at 7 o'clock, ready to go to bed because I'm just so tired. I need to go to sleep. Like, yeah. But anyways, I probably have just chatted so much negativity on this video. But I just want people to realise, like, that it's just difficult. <laughs> like, it's just difficult. And, like, life is not always, like, good and easy. And, like, getting a degree is not easy, especially for someone who's struggling you know so it's just real I'm just trying to be real I'm sure other people are just flying through university with no issues but I'm not but I am not and my lip like my lip is so swollen I, I can feel it every time I'm speaking and what's the bit? I'm going to bite that again because it's so swollen. If I do, I might cry. I will cry. Ugh. So I have to be super careful and eat really slowly. Um, but tomorrow, I'm just at the North Campus, thank goodness, working on the mannequin heads. We are doing pulpotomies. It's basically like a root canal, but on children, like on, on children's teeth, and it's not going all the way down into the roots. So the little, the little, you've got like little nerves, 
and it's not going all the way down into the root of the tooth. I'm just doing like the crown part of the of the nerves. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Um and yeah, so that should be all good. But yeah, that is the plan. I am going to just finish this vlog off here because it's just so freaking long of me chatting. I'm really sorry if you stuck through this, honestly. I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you in my next video. I'm not sure when that is, but I'm going to try my best. I'm not even sure when this is going to come out. Hopefully soon. Anyways, peace out. Good night.